we work with people with developmental disabilities all the way from two years old all the way through life. So we have programs that work with resource, so kids. We also have a transitional age program, and so it's helping them out transition in some of those tough times in life uh, into the adult world, which is always scary to everyone. Uh, we also have residential programs within the town of Midland, uh, all the outskirts as well. This is our CAPS day program, so this is where a lot of the activities go on. Uh, people meet up with friends, they go out in the community, they do activities here, uh, and it's really just a great place that everyone comes together. CLH has um, been extremely meaningful to me. To see it grow from four or five staff to the size it is today, and supporting the individuals that we support today has just been uh, um, an incredible journey for me. CLH to me um, is a place where they have afforded me a voice uh, in my position where I can speak up on behalf of the people I support. If I can go home and say I made a difference in the life of one of the people I support, then I'm fulfilled. And, and that's what it means to me. What I do here is support the individuals, help them with their day-to-day -day needs, and just have fun with them. Where the support comes in and helps you out with different things like coming to work here every day. They're good, good people. I work with, in the kitchen with uh, Wendy Holder and Vicki, and then uh, sometimes I help out that hair crust. It means a lot to me. It helped me get to where I am today. Our ASD and uh, DS classes at Huron Park um, our small classes um, and we take students in those programs that are from other schools in the North Simcoe area not just here in Park and they are small group intensive programs to support students with special needs so that they can be successful at school. In our program we give them life skills and functional living skills so we teach them things about money, how to take the bus in the community, um, we take them on community outings, we teach them leisure skills like playing games and how to take turns. Um, we also teach them functional academic skills, which we hope that as they move into, we are preparing them to move into secondary school, where Community Living Huronia and our secondary teachers will use the background that we've given them to help prepare them for life, um, either independent um, or uh, assisted as their needs. I'm teaching the life skills and then I go and I see it applied in their homes, living and trying as hard as we can to have them live an independent life. I've been with Community Living Heroni for the last 25 years. For the past 15 years I've been working as a transitional age youth coordinator in partnership with the local secondary school systems here in Midland, the Ministry of Education and our local school boards to develop meaningful transition plans for the individuals and students between the ages of 14 and 21 to develop what their life's going to look like once they leave the school system. You've just met some absolutely fantastic people here at our 339 Olive Street Day program which is one of the services our young adults may access once they leave the school system. The Life Skills program, fabulous program, there's lots of amazing things with students at different ability levels, or basic numeracy, literacy, but really important is that, that basic living skills, that those things that, that we all take for granted, um, they, they do those things, cooking, uh, communication, uh, uh, money management, that, things like that, the things that, that are really key to someone being successful, anyone in the school actually being successful on their own or in the community. And if it weren't for the collaboration between the community living and the school, I think that, that neither program would be as effective as it is because they work really well together, they know the needs of the students, we work with the students in the school knowing what their needs will be in the community and the community agencies work with us knowing that what will the students will need when they get to the community. I've been involved in a lot of wonderful transitions, supported many families um, throughout their journey. In fact, some of the families that we've supported over the years, we still have contact with um, some 20 years later. In-school program consists of taking kids from the school into the community. 
uh, we will do things such as volunteer programming, spending time in the community accessing public transportation, public buildings, libraries. Uh, community Living has two centers which we access. During the summer, we run two summer programs. I went to teens camp this summer and, uh, and I had fun with everyone who I knew and the four staff. I went to uh, Community Livonia Dean Gamp. Uh, what? This summer? What did you uh, I had fun and I got to meet some friends. And I had a lot of fun now. So I have a, uh, a long standing relationship with Community Living and the role they play with the, within the school. They've been uh, there for us to facilitate transitions uh, during the time they sit in with us at our transition meetings every year. So they get to, use, get to learn and know about the families and begin to plan for them upon entry of, of high school. I enjoy the meetings every year where we meet with community living and parents and families and create a bond between um, school and outside agencies that help the students that we, we service.